there's no need to involve me because I don't want to be a, a tool or instrument in this because. The drama doesn't end there. She said, I wish it was me. I responded, oh no, oh my God, everybody is crazy. Hold on to your seats because the crazy journey that is Christian rock culture has taken a new turn. Imagine this, our famous star is now Pennell, without legal representation, and facing a significant prison sentence in a different state. Just when you thought things couldn't get any more bizarre, her lawyer dumps her like a hot potato, leaving her in a fend for herself with a public defender. Christian's child has been placed into temporary custody and is scheduled to be extradited to face additional charges related to fighting at the Tamar Braxton show and evading drug charges. This story is more juicy than ever, so stay tuned for all the juicy details. We have the inside scoop on Chris's spectacular fall. From Grace Allright, so Kron was arrested. Rock appeared in court on Monday to offer support for Blueface. But while she was there, she was also taken into custody on unrelated charges. Curiously, the storyline becomes more complex around Chris and Rock's financial difficulties in spite of her sister's attempts to raise money through a GoFund page. Rumor has it that the funds have mysteriously disappeared, and one insider suggests that Chris and Rock's sister may not have had the best of intentions. Christian finds herself back in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons after her recent arrest at a San Fernando Valley courthouse. Allegations suggest that instead of getting legal help, she pocketed the money leaving Christian high and dry. Could it be that family betrayal is the latest twist in this already turbulent saga? What happened, Christine? They're saying I have a whole other case. See, she was first arrested on a felony fugitive warrant out of Oklahoma. But this was only the beginning of her problems. The charges stemming from the altercation with Tamar Braxton have resulted in a 30-day jail sentence followed by a year of probation, a harsh reality she now has to face. Christian's lack of financial resources has left her in a precarious situation. Her attorney is frustrated by her non-compliance and has thrown in the towel on her case. This means that Chrisen will have to handle her legal disputes with a public defender, which is very different from the powerful legal team she so sorely needs. She's done yelling. A person with knowledge of the incident who stressed the seriousness of her condition said that Cran must have been stunned because it appeared that she believed her legal. The question of what will happen with Christian Rock's extradition to Oklahoma now arises. It's still unknown when her transfer will take place, but once she gets there, her legal struggles will only get worse because she won't have any money and won't have a private attorney. Looms on the horizon, where she faces even more serious charges like possessing drugs with intent to distribute and possessing a controlled dangerous substance. The future appears dismal. According to an insider, the Oklahoma accusations are serious and she may have to spend a lot of time in jail. The stakes are quite high inside bars, especially without a solid legal defense, and Christian is under a great deal of pressure. The glitz and glamour of reality TV and music once dominated her life, but now it's overshadowed by legal battles and the struggle to make ends meet. Hello, my name is Yamam, and I'm from Bern, Maryland. I find stuff like this annoying because it seems like a case of a celebrity losing control of their ego. And what about her sons, Chrissy and Junior, with both parents? Behind bars, his future is uncertain. According to sources, he is reportedly seeing a family friend, but things are not steady at all. The custody dispute between Blueface's parents complicates an already tumultuous situation. In a startling turn of events, Blueface's father has refused to give up custody despite prior support, making the child's future uncertain. Chen's public appeal for assistance appears to have backfired catastrophically. Instead of providing her with legal representation, the GoFund campaign has generated scandal and mistrust. Is it possible that Sin's own family is betraying her during her time of need? 
Nobody anticipated the full extent of the damage the Tamar Braxton show incident would have. Being a single mother is one thing where you become overwhelmed and so much be like going on for real in your thoughts. If the betrayal is true, it merely adds to the growing issues she confronts. The backup singer James Wright Channel, whom she is accused of assaulting aid, is still suffering from the attack's aftermath. His moving testimony about the trauma he experienced has affected both public opinion and the legal proceedings. When I contacted the therapist, she told me it was trauma, saying that it would wake me up from my sleep. This emotional plea could have a significant impact on the court's decision-making process. Further complicating matters. Christian's legal tactics in the this legal minefield Christian's reputation has suffered greatly. Previously praised for her audacious persona and lively demeanor, she now faces a storyline rife with scandal and crime. This leads us to the unexpected turn of events concerning WAC 100. Social media is a flurry of conjecture and criticism, with many doubting how she would ever recover from such a downfall, and that's all that matters, so I really don't give her. In her hour of need, WAC 100 has firmly distanced herself from Christian Rock. The manager, who has always been controversial, has become entangled in the chaotic story of Christian Rock despite their past collaborations and the complex web of their professional relationship. I believe that WAC 100 has two or three warrants, but I'm not serious. His failure to help her, claiming that there was nothing he could do to help her, has sparked rumors and criticism among supporters who think his choice stems from their long-standing feud rather than from a true lack of aptitude. Arizona is not serious, California is not serious. According to an insider with knowledge of the matter, WAC 100 has never really supported Christian. Instead, he has always viewed her as a problem rather than an asset. Despite Christian's assurances that he will be out before Christmas, many are skeptical, seeing his comments as thinly veiled indifference cloaked in professional detachment not mentally there to understand how life works, how the law works, how this works, so I did my part and the only thing I can do is T.E.U. The intrigue rose with allegations that WAC 100 is secretly gloating over Christian's downfall. Fans who recall their public spats and WAC's consistent disapproval of Christian's influence on Blueface share this sentiment. Now that his earlier comments about her being a hindrance to Blueface's career are being read as part of a planned distancing strategy, is it possible that Wack is taking advantage of this to finally get rid of what he views as a troublesome presence in Blueface? The public has taken notice of Glee's recent remarks and whispers, which have added further tension to an already tense situation. I urged Rock 50 million times to stop broadcasting, live from that house. Police have been there multiple times, banging on doors because others in the neighborhood sent them. Chrisen is facing the difficult the public defender assigned to Chrisian's case. While competent, lacks the resources and firepower of a high-profile attorney, placing Chrisian at a significant disadvantage as she prepares to face the serious charges that await her. This isn't just a legal battle, it's a fight for her life, as a concerned friend has pointed out. The prospect of extradition to Oklahoma brings to light the reality of her isolation. She is alone, abandoned by those she once considered allies. This leads us to Blueface, whose own legal issues are still far from resolved. According to TMZ, he is still incarcerated and his sentence has been unexpectedly extended. Blueface, who turned himself in recently, is anticipated to stay behind bars until at least July 2, 2024. The rapper, who was already on probation, is said to have broken the terms of his release, which led to his imprisonment. Oddly enough, the jail's overcrowding may have been his only hope for an early release.